I asked Drake to give me his best fall fragrances for 2023. Drake is currently on tour with 21 Savage and he seems to be in a given mood these days. He recently gave a fan a Birkin bag, he gave him another one like $50,000, and he generously hopped into bed with Bobby All Whatever to be on a podcast. Which, by the way, was set up through their Instagram DM, so I figured for all the dogs, the least he could do is let us know what fragrances we should be rocking this fall. So I DM'd him on Instagram twice. He did not answer. Now this is the second time that Drake has snubbed me and you don't typically get a second chance, but we'll talk more about that later in the video. So, since we couldn't get an answer from Sir Drizzy Drake, we had to take matters into our own hands. Your boy has done some digging and I found out exactly which fragrances I think Drake will be wearing this fall and I'm giving one of them away to one of you. First up, we have Rehab from Anishio Parfums. But real quick, I gotta shout out today's video sponsors, my friends over at MaxAroma.com. Be sure to click the link down in the description to check out any of the fragrances from today's video. When I think about Rehab and what this fragrance represents, Marvin's Room immediately comes to mind for me. Rehab has been in my collection for about four years or so at this point point and I'll never forget what it was like when I first sprayed this fragrance on. My wife was all over me with this fragrance and there's levels to compliments but with this one let's just say it was top tier and it doesn't stop there. I wore this one to a meet and greet down in Miami and it felt like everyone I encountered just couldn't help but to give your boy a compliment. Rehab starts off with this smooth blend of spices, woods, and citrus notes and I find it to be super indulgent. This one's a part of Anishio's Hedonist Collection, which are fragrances that explore your desire for pleasure in whatever form that might be. And when I think of Marvin's Room, it's exactly that. Drake goes on and says, the woman that I would try is happy with a good guy. But I'ma call her anyway. This selfish desire for pleasure, no matter who it impacts, is clear in the song as well as with this fragrance. You feel good wearing Rehab and its magnetic charm is nearly irresistible. So needless to say, this one does not play into Drake settling into his role as the good guy. <laughs> so if you're anything like me, you appreciate a good compliment every now and then, especially when it comes down to your fragrances. And this next one has proven to be a legend when it comes to compliments. The fragrance I'm referring to is La Nuit de Alone from the house of YSL. Listen, I know what you're thinking. It's an average fragrance that anyone can afford, which is true. But with Drake's tattoo of Dracar Noir, it shows that Drake is really about quality and price doesn't always dictate quality. When I think of La Nuit Alone, I would have to pair it with Drake's 2015 release of Legend. Throughout the song, Drake boasts about his growth and accomplishments as a result of his growth. On the hook, Drake chants that if he dies, he's a legend with this smooth serenade of so anxious in the background. To me, if La Nuit Alone was a person, it would feel the same way. When this fragrance was released back in 2009 and many of the years afterwards, you'd be hard pressed to find a fragrance that was running the smell goods game quite like this one. To this day, to this day, it would rear its head up in many top 10 lists, but back in the day, it would often find itself in the number one spot. Additionally, although the fragrances are from separate brands, Pierre Wagner is the creator of Drake's beloved Dracar Noir, and he's also the co-creator of La Nuit de Lome, so chances are Drake has either worn La Nuit de Lome or is still wearing it today. Moving on to this next fragrance, I'm not sure it's necessary to connect the dots because he literally has an entire song named after this fragrance and you might know where I'm going with this one the next fragrance is none other than Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather not only was Tuscan Leather the lead song from the Nothing Was The Same album but he also rapped what grew to become a legendary line when he said Tom Ford Tuscan Leather smelling like a brick if you google Tom Ford Tuscan Leather you'll find a ton of questions out there like does Tom Ford Tuscan Leather really smell like cocaine listen at any rate it's nose candy for sure in this song Drake also said just give it time we'll see who's still around a decade from now and over a decade after its release Tom Ford Tuscan Leather is still one of the most sought after fragrances from the house of Tom Ford. It's perfect for the fall and winter months and is a masterful blend of saffron, raspberry, leather, and suede. It's sophisticated and in my opinion it's the fragrance of a true gentleman. Drake's song Chicago Freestyle sums up the next fragrance on our list and that fragrance is none other than Prima Donna from Suspiro International. When I think of Chicago Freestyle, it's a song that works for me whether I'm cruising both day or night and it works because it really tells a story that just oozes bravado and Prima Donna does just that. If you're looking for instant confidence booster, then this is it. Prima Donna is described as a sensual fragrance that flirts with emotions and arouses the imagination. Think about this. Drake said, wait aboard the check for the meal, 
She said, babe, I think there was a typo. Like Prima Donna, that bar makes you imagine yourself in that situation and you know exactly how you would feel when you tell your girl, nah, I got it. That's light though. On the hook, Gibeon talks about that colder weather and that's exactly where Prima Donna shines. But more specifically, in the bass, you get that chocolate, you get some amber, you get a milky cord in Cedarwood. And the final fragrance recommendation Drake would give all the dogs is Jadu from Mind Games. This fragrance is bold but sweet, aggressive but smooth, and brings order to a mix of chaotic notes. And for those reasons, Drake is wearing this fragrance and I will pair it with Slime You Out from Drake's latest album release. It gives you that nostalgic feeling, but it still brings something new to the table. The pomegranate and mandarin compete with that rose and benzoin leather, similar to the duet of Drake and Scissor, really to create a fragrance that's truly next level. Jadub has an intriguing opening, but settles down to a fragrance that's rich, deep and classy without losing its seductive allure. So as I said earlier, this is the second time Drake left your boy hanging. Back in the day, like way back in the day, 2009 to be specific, I was on a quest to take over the rap game. That obviously didn't come to fruition, but Drake had just released Best I Ever Had, and I confidently made an attempt to get a feature from him. If I remember correctly, I called his booking number, and the automated message said, Drake is not accepting features at this time. So Drake, if you're watching this, it's too late. But it's not too late for you and all the dolls to check out my good friends over at maxaroma.com to get some of the best fragrance pricing in the game. And I just so happen to have an extra bottle of Tom Ford Tuscan leather. It doesn't have a box. So whichever one of you wants it, just comment down below letting me know where you would wear it. And I'll randomly select one of you. And now click here to see what happened when I purchased every new fragrance at Macy's.